How's it going? Carl here. Glad to have you today. Today we're going to be talking about Microsoft Scripts, how to use scripts, also integrating that with Power Automate as well as you guessed it, Power BI. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get right into it. Just FYI, in order to do this, you have to have the Microsoft Work or Organization version or Microsoft School version. However, this does not work if you have the Excel free version where this automation ribbon is not available. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get right into the data. So imagine that we work for Tesla and I'll just use Tesla and this is all fake data, just some data that I made up, no real numbers here. And this is just so we can cover how the scripts work using Microsoft Excel. Imagine if every month you had to come into Excel, open up a number of files in regards to sales, and then run all these different functions in order to get the total and profit and everything like that. What if I told you I can make your life 10 times easier with this automation? It can decrease your workload tremendously and you can focus on other minimal tasks. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you look at your Excel across your ribbon up here, you have a number of different things and something that you may not have ever paid attention to is automate. And if you have great. Now, when you click on automate, you will see record actions, new scripts, return table data as JSON and move rows between tables and create sort and format tables. However, we want to go ahead and click on all scripts. So when you open this code editor, you'll see my recent scripts. And right now we don't have any because we're going to do that during this tutorial. We're going to create a new script. You see this workbook, which there isn't any, and then you have a whole bunch of different samples that you can kind of experiment with. For the sake of this exercise, what we're going to end up doing is creating some recorded actions so that we can decrease our workload every time we get this sales sheet in. So before we do that, let's go ahead and come here and take all the bold away. So we want to go back to automate and then we want to go to record actions. And once you click on record actions, what this tab does is it's going to start recording everything that you do within this workbook. So if I come here and I say, make all of this bold, now you're going to see bold A2, D2. And then if I come here and make all of this bold, now you get the idea. It's recording all of our steps. So if I come here to D3 and I want to go ahead and do a calculation function and I just say, what is this? B3 times C3. Now I have that calculation. Now, if I wanted to go ahead and just fill the rest of these, then there you have it. Now, if I needed to go ahead and get this total, then now I can come here and say sum and then just fill this up. After that, I can simply say stop. Now, once you do that, what happens is it has created a script. Now we can look at this script and how it's written out. And when we click on edit here and what you'll see is this script is written in TypeScript or JavaScript. So it basically tells you what steps it took to get the data to look the way it looks. So we're just going to go back here and we'll just go ahead and give this a name and call it, we'll just call it Tesla scale script. We'll hit enter there and it automatically saves it for us. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and test this out real quick, we'll just come here, delete that. Change this back, change that back. And if we come over here to our script, Tesla sales script, and we just click on run, what happens is it runs that script for us. Now we've sped up production tremendously. What's next? The next thing I want you guys to look at is you go up here to your waffle and I want you to find this script in your OneDrive. So this script will be in your OneDrive 
and when you go to document office scripts and then that will be right there the beautiful thing about this is you can also make this shareable so that if you was to move on and get a promotion you can share this with the next person that makes their work life easier as well so they don't have to come in here and try to figure everything out now let's come back here and let's go ahead and clear this out take this bold so everything is no longer bold and the next thing i want you to do is i want to go back up to your waffle and i want you to find power automate so you go into your power automate and what you're going to do is create a flow so once you click on create a flow you're going to get this start from a blank so you'll get automated cloud flow instant cloud flow scheduled cloud flow desktop cloud flow business process flow and process advisor the one we're going to use is instant cloud flow which is triggered manually as needed so we just want to come here we want to give our flow a name so we're just going to call this tesla sales flow once we give it a name we want to select manually triggered flow there are a lot of other flows that you can select and what it usually tries to do is just remember the most recent ones you selected and then give you the rest of those flows that you can select from so we're going to do a manual trigger flow hit create once you get into setting up your flow what you want to do now is say new step so you're going to click on new step and the first step we're going to do is we're going to go into excel online so we want to go ahead and click that and then this is going to give us all the functions that we can use in excel so it gives us actions that we can use as well as triggers so what we want to do is run a script because remember we created the script in office scripts so we want to say run script then it's going to give us four different functions so we got to pick the location the location will be your OneDrive. then you got to pick the document library and that's going to be your OneDrive. and then you pick your file and the way you do that is just click on this folder right here and the file is going to be Tesla sold. It's the file that you created. And then the next thing you want to do is select your script. So select your script. And once you do that, you can just go ahead and hit save. So we're going to go ahead and hit save. There's one more step that we're going to add to this. But for now, we're just going to stay here. And we want to go back. And now that we've created this flow, we can run this flow so let's go back to our tesla cell excel sheet and see that nothing has happened here yet right so if we go to our power automate we can go ahead and say run and then it's, it's going to want you to sign in and if you got your own setup it'll do that for you so it's signed in now we can just go ahead and run our flow so we're going to hit run flow your flow successfully started to monitor it go to flows run page so we can go here and this lets us know that our flow is running while our flow is running we can also kind of come back here if we want to see that update live as it happens what's going to happen is once that flow finishes you'll see this update on its own so we can come back here and see that it's still running just do a refresh on this page and see that that automation actually ran that flow so we've seen that data is updated and it's ready to go now wouldn't it be great if we can look at this data a lot cooler in something like power bi well don't worry about that because i've already done that for you so to keep this from being a complete power bi tutorial but i do have power bi tutorials that you can watch by clicking on the cards above i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how this will look in power bi so let's just go ahead and clear this one more time. Now let's go ahead and pull up Power BI. So we're going to go back to our waffle here. I'm going to go to my Power BI. Like I said, you have to have a work organization or anything like that. But here I am in my Power BI and I've already created the app. And this is what the data looks like. So if we look here, we have our costs, we have our Tesla sold, and then we have our profit which is blank right now because this is blank so what do we want to do we want to go ahead and get this flow to run once again so when this flow runs it's going to update this and then we're going to add another step 
so that Power BI is updated. So before we run that flow, let's go ahead and go into flow edit. So the new step that we want to add is we want to add a Power BI refresh data set flow. So we're going to go ahead and click on Power BI. And what we want to look for is refresh. So we want to say refresh data set. It's going to give us two functions to select from. So it's going to load our all of my data sets. And we're just going to click on this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on this one, Tesla sales. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. Once this save, good. We can go back here. And what we can do now is we can go ahead and run it once again. So let's just click run. It's going to run. Hit continue. They want to do some sign in prompts. So now everything has refreshed in the background. We can just run this flow. Flow is running. So we can go to the flow page and we can see it right here. But what I want to show you guys is it's going to update here. And the way you can kind of see if it's updating is you can just hit that refresh and it refreshes this live. And in Power BI, what happens is it refreshes here. So for for whatever reason, something went wrong. So in order to fix that, it's easy. We could just go into our data set. It says that the last one failed, which is fine. But what we can do is we can just make sure that everything in here is good. The column Tesla sold of the table was not found. So what that means is <clears throat> There's an issue with the column and we're going to, we went ahead and fixed that. So let's just clear this out. Once again, let's just get rid of everything that's bold. Let's just come back here. Let's hit refresh on this page. It succeeded, but it failed at the same time. That's fine. We can just go ahead and run it. Run flow. Now it's running. We can come back here see that it updated then we can come to power bi we can go to our workspaces if you want to see that refresh happening that refresh happened instantly which is great so now we can go back to our apps hit refresh on our apps and now we have the max profit which is 928 million which means everything updated accordingly. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and come here and just select around to see how everything profited, we can just click on Cybertruck, click on the Model S, we can click on the Model Y, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Roadster. So we can see how everything profited individually, and we can see how everything profited together. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial. If you guys would love to see more tutorials in the future, if you guys are thinking anything that could help you automate your processes, go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section and feel free to make your own requests. I hope you guys enjoyed that free tutorial. I'm Carl. Peace. Before you go, if you're new to this channel, here's a chance for you to subscribe and make sure you smash that thumbs up once again. Make sure you leave some comments down in the comment section. And if you want to check out some more videos that may help you learn on the go as you grow, you can do so right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.